Welcome to Math Elevations and the CRA method of learning math. Hands-on learning challenges can be easily managed. View our experts' ideas for your classroom. I want the whole basic premise behind this program. It's your modes of learning, the CRA. What is C? Concrete. What does that mean? Touch it. You touch it. You play with it. You manipulate it. Are we looking at a book yet? No, we don't get the book out. All we're looking at is playing with the manipulatives. And I always recommend when I'm doing a training or talking to teachers, give those kids some time to just experiment and explore the manipulatives. Don't just walk in and hand them something they've never seen before and say, okay, now I want you to put this in groups of 20. I want to feel them, I want to play with them. Little ones want to line them up and make stacks and towers and designs and get all that out of their system. So then they can go in and do the math. Uh, one of the things I always taught teachers, and if you're doing a training, and this question about, well, it's hard to keep them organized, there's a lot of ways to organize these manipulatives. Ziploc bags, I have stock in the Ziploc bag company. Uh, Rubbermaid, Tupperware, I have stock in those companies. Uh, I get a phone placement, and I put them on there, and they don't bounce. If, if we're sorting, I have all sorts of little black bowls that I use, or solo bowls, or whatever. Ice cube, Ice cube trays, I take those, and I line them with that fun foam, that little thin fun foam. Nothing bounces them. So there's all sorts of ways that they can learn to do this. With this program, don't rush the concrete. You may spend a whole day, your whole time period in there, just exploring and working with the concrete part of the lesson. That's fine. So eventually, when they, when you say, show me an array with six tiles by four tiles, or six by four, they can see it in their head because they manipulated it, they played with it, they've had their hands on it, and they know what it means. After they're comfortable with that, after they, you, you feel like, okay, they've got this with the manipulatives. Then we're going to go to the representational. There we're using the manipulatives, but we're also using paper and pencil. And I may say, draw me an array of two by seven. So then they can go and take the manipulatives, do build it if they need to, if they still need that, that inner support, that little scaffold there, and then they can draw it on their paper. Once we get all the way past that, and we know that, then we can go on and go to abstract, and that's where we start working paper and pencil in the student book. But this program makes it critical that teachers understand you've got to do the concrete and the representational first. That's how children learn. 